Well, if you decide that you don't want to use your credit card to purchase a car because you're going to pay way too much interest and you decide you don't have time to save up for a car before you need that new car, then what are your choices? So what we're going to look at here is if you take a car loan, the formula is here for what your payment amount will be. And then we have another form formula that will say, based on a certain payment, here's how much car you can afford. This is the same loan that's used for houses. So if you're going to buy a house and take out a mortgage, um, you'll use the same formula. Generally, these are monthly payments, and so our N is always going to be 12. But you could occasionally have something that you paid on each year but for loans that's really really unusual so with the car loans and mortgages then we're talking about purchasing a major item like a car or a mortgage or something else that you could make regular monthly payments on and then you pay the same amount each month until the item is paid for so you get the use of the item up front but you have to make payments on it all the time Okay, I just want you to be familiar with the terminology fixed installment loan. The fixed means that your payment sizes are the same each month, and then installment means you're paying on it over time. So you have the same size payments that you're making each month, or rarely it could be each year. Okay, a down payment is some amount of money that you pay when you're taking out a loan which reduces the size of your loan, which could then also reduce the size of your payments or the amount of time that you have before you paid off your house or your car. Um, this is a really good idea, especially when you're buying a house because a uh, down payment can really reduce the amount of interest that you pay over the life of the mortgage, but also if you can pay 20% or more of the value of the home that you're buying, then you don't have to pay the um, the PMI, which is uh, an insurance on the, if you make at least a 20% down payment on a home, then you don't have to pay the PMI, which is the insurance that the mortgage companies charge you to basically ensure that you're going to pay on your loan. And it's an extra amount that they add on each month. And so it, once you pay down to 80% of the mortgage value, of the house, then you no longer have to have that insurance. So if you can start off with 20% um, of your house already paid, then you don't have to pay that PMI, which essentially just goes to the mortgage company. We have a formula here, and this formula answers a question. The question is, what payment do I have to make to pay a loan of A dollars in T years? So this one obviously is solved for the payment and you plug in all the information on the right. It looks sort of familiar, but we have a couple of things that are a little bit different. Particularly, we have a negative exponent here and then um, we have the A times R over N in the numerator. So let's write out each part again. The A is the loan amount. The PMT is the monthly payment, as always. The R stands for the APR for the loan, which is also the rate as a decimal. The N is the number of compoundings, which we'll be using monthly, so that'll be 12. And the T is going to be the number of years that you have to pay the loan.